We are joined by Senator Rick Scott of Florida. Senator's here in my home state. Uh, Senator Scott, I know you just left Sarasota. You are en route to Fort Myers. Hurricane Milton is bearing down, and it is a monster from what we can all see on the radar and all the coverage of it. What do people need to know right now, and and what kind of preparations are being made to to deal with this? Well, the I've been talking. I'm getting constant updates from the National Hurricane Center. That's a great group of people who do a great job. You know, you sort of have to think about this two ways. One, if you're along the coast, if you're Tampa to, you know, to probably Naples, you're going to get a pretty big storm surge. And if you get six feet of storm surge, you're not going to survive if you get that in your house. Well, we're talking about 15 feet. We're talking about possibly 15 feet in Tampa, Sarasota, even down in Fort Myers where they've had, you know, they had Ian two years ago. They had Debbie, um, what, a few months, two months ago, and now they've had um, uh, Helene last week. So I mean, bar- these barrier islands are so low-lying, you just got to get off of them. So I tell the people, you know, we can't make you stay alive. If you go and drive, if you go stay on these barrier islands and you get 10 foot of storm surge and you're a one-story house, you're dead. If you get 10 foot of storm surge and you've got a crummy house that collapses, you're dead. You're dead. We can't, you can't be rebuilt anything. Your family will never talk to you again until you get to heaven. So get out. And here's the other thing people do. They wait and say, well, I'll see how bad it is. Well, once it's bad, the roads are going to be flooded. There are going to be power lines down. You can't need, and there's going to be tornadoes. You can't get going. Then if you're inland a little bit, okay, you're fine. You're not in the evacuation zone. You have to understand, we are going to lose power. I just got off the phone with Duke. We're going to, we're going to lose power. We're going to have flooding. We're going to have down power lines, which is dangerous. We're going to have trees falling because we're saturated. So you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to have seven days of water, seven days of food, have your pet food, have your medicine, and because you just have to assume nothing's open, or if it is, you might not get there because the roads are blocked. Then if you go inland a little farther, let's say you get to Polk County or you get to Orlando, well, you might have hurricane force winds. You're probably going to have flooding. You're probably going to have down power. So you could eventually end up with no power, no water, and no sewer. And so you just have to listen to everybody locally. They're professionals. The sheriffs are emergency management team. Listen. And if they say, get out of town, then you do it today. You don't do it, oh, I think I'll wait until tomorrow morning. One, you have no idea. Uh, if you if you don't have a full tank of gas, where are you going to go? And I get, we might be out of gas. So I'm just telling everybody, take it seriously now. Don't don't wait. I mean, if you're along the Bear Islands, they've told you, you have to get out. I live in Naples. We had to be out of our house by 6 a.m. So we've done everything we could. We put our furniture up. We put sandbags all over every possible opening in the house. And we're hoping for the best. Now, it's, hopefully it won't be as bad as Tampa. But that's what everybody's got to think. Get the heck out. If they told you to get out, get out. And if you have friends that are close to the water, call them and bug them. If you have family members. If you love them, bug them, live in daylights out of them, get out of Dodge. Um, so the first thing, my first response is everybody needs to stay alive. Think about this. In, in Irma, we got, in 2017, bigger than the state, nobody died. Why? Because we got them to evacuate. And two years ago, 150-plus people died. Just two weeks ago, with Helene, 25 people died. We don't need to have anybody dying. We know this is happening. It's happening. It's going to hit their state. It's going to happen. It's not a maybe. It's going to hit. Now, it might not hit Tampa. It might hit just north. It might hit just hit south. It's probably not going to be much further than that. So get the hell out of Dodge. I want you to stay alive. Don't don't choose to put yourself in harm's way. And the, in law enforcement and first responders, they can't come get you when it's 60 mile an hour wind. We got shelters open that's close to you. You can go to disaster Florida Disaster dot org. There's shelters open. They're safe. Uh, you can take your pets. Some of them are medically dependent. I've got. Uh, yeah, I just was in Sarasota. They've got 13 shelters open. Two medically dependent. They're all. You can take your pets to all of them. Um, so 
They've got food. They've got water. So it might not be a fun thing. But there's, and then people say, well, you know, there's traffic on I-4. There is. By the way, there always is. Um, there is, but guess what? I'd rather you be stuck in traffic on I-4, you'll eventually get where you need to go, than die on Anna Maria. Um, Senator, I think that's important that everybody should listen to. I know you're not a meteorolo- meteorologist. That's not an easy word to say. Um, but Tampa hasn't really been hit by a storm like this in 100 years. For people who have spent yep. any time in Hillsborough County, for people who have driven around in the Tampa area, There are a ton of houses that are right up there on the water. Some of them older houses that have been there and been safe for a long time. Based on what you have seen of these forecasts, what could happen to Tampa for anyone listening in the Tampa area? And we got big audience all over Florida, but we got a big audience there in Tampa in particular. People might not have experienced anything like this. What are you hearing about what could happen to Tampa to just hammer home why people need to be leaving? First off, let's look. Just just what happened two weeks ago with Helene, Davis Island had a lot of water, right? And then then if when this water comes in, and let's say it's a fifteen foot, it's a fifteen foot of water, and then you're gonna where it looks like it's gonna hit as high tide, okay? It makes it makes it worse, right? So and so you're gonna you're gonna get water way inland. Steen Hatchie, Helene two weeks ago, eighteen foot of storm water. A half a mile in, a friend of mine's grocery store had seven foot. A half a mile in had seven foot wow. of water. Yeah. Right? All right. So then, so then let's say, oh, so you say, well, I'm at, my house is at 20 feet. That's all great. Great. Maybe you won't be flooded. Your house, your street's going to be flooded. Your grocery stores are closed. The power lines are going to be down. You're going to have down tree lines. And those down tree lines, down trees could hit your house and, and, and kill you. Hey, this all happens. And then people, then the other thing we got to do is people got to know, how do you use a generator? You don't put it inside your house. You need to learn these things. And you can't learn them at the last minute and say, I think, well, let me think. Oh, I think I'll get on you on YouTube. Oh, gosh, it's down. Right. So you just you just have to say, go to go to you can go to ready.gov and get a plan. But you've got to listen. I mean, your sheriffs, your first responders, emergency management, they're telling you this stuff just. Take it seriously because, I, you know, who knows what's going to exactly happen. It's always a little bit different. But look at Ian two years ago. Ian was supposed to hit Tampa and hit Fort Myers Beach. We had 150 people die yep. because they didn't get off of Sanibo. They didn't get off of Fort Myers Beach. And it was just devastated. So, I, so but, you know, the, the National Hurricane Center, they're every, they're, they're, they're this, this, you know, the storm path on Helena was perfect. Right now, who knows what will happen on this since it was weather. But the storm surge is getting better and better, the information. And if you're to the south of the storm, you're going to get a lot of storm surge. I mean, it's, it's a big storm, a lot of wind. Um, so you just and then, and then if you're inland, let's say you're 50 miles inland and we get 100 mile an hour winds and you're in a manufacturing home. Okay, go. I can just tell you in Charlotte County that happened with Ian. We had a whole bunch of manufacturing homes. They just roll, rolled over. So that's going to kill you. So I just. Well, I, got, look, I, I mean, that's I, I, terrifying. I just, We're speaking to Senator Senator Rick Scott. Senator, can you give us a sense of what are the what are the actions that are being taken uh, right now by state, local, and and federal authorities to try to just pre-position resources, assistance, and aid. And what does that piece, you, you've made very clear, and I think very compelling presentation about why it is people need to get out of the evacuation areas. The mayor of Tampa last night on CNN said, if you stay in evacuation area, you are going to die. That is what, I, you probably yeah. saw that, right? Yeah. That I is mean, what she has it, said. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think I think Jane Castor's, I mean, She's right. I mean, you're 50 for the storm surge. If you get 10, let's say we're off a little bit. But guess what? We got 18, 18 for the storm surge. Just think about that. That's two tall, I mean, two nine-foot floors of just pure water. And, and, and what they do is the water comes in and breaks everything. It breaks all your windows, right? And then it sucks everything out when it goes out, including you, right? Including everything else that's not really heavy or tied down. So, so the, you know, you, you just, you, 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 you've got to listen. So the, and then 
after it happens, you know, we got all these problems because there's no power. We in, Ir, in Irma, when I was governor in 17, we had, we had 13, uh, 13 million out of 22 million people without power. Right. So, um, so in, in Tampa, it's going to come way up, right? It's going to, some of these places that have been built close to the water that are not, you know, way up, they're going to get, they're, they're going to be inundated with water. And they're in the, and if, if you stay, uh, you, you know, you're just gone. So, I mean, it, you know, the, there were, I'll, I'll tell you another story. I was at Steen Hatchie. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys have been to uh, Roy's. Royce is, is at Ben St. Hatchie for, I don't know, 50 years. Two-story building right on the river. Two weeks ago, the whole building's gone. It's gone. The whole building. Two-story building right on the water. 18-foot storm surge destroyed the entire building. It was cr- it crumbled. Crumbled. That's what happened. If you go to Mexico Beach back in 2018... Uh, the, the, those those houses. What they did was they old wooden houses. They filled in the first floor. Well, the water pressure came in, crushed uh, the her, whole first floor. The whole collapse, whole building collapsed. I remember the day after. I was down at Mexico Beach. I remember people come up and say, "Hey, I can't find my mom." Yeah, they found her five days later, washed up about five blocks away. Because she said, "Oh, I've been through a category." you know, one or two or three before, so I'm not going to evacuate. It's not generally the wind now. It's, if you're close to the water, it's the water that's going to kill you. It will, it will, it will kill you, period. Sen- uh, Senator Scott, first of all, I mean, obviously, having been the governor of Florida, you, you know this situation uh, very well, and, and you understand all the, all the factors. And I think it's important, you know, we have, we have stations. Uh, we are around WFLA Tampa. We have stations in Fort Myers. We have stations in in some of the evac areas where people are listening uh, right now. So you've made it very clear that people need to evac and get get out of there. If anyone wants um, either additional resources about evac pathways, preparations for their home, anything like that, where where do you recommend that people who are in the the path of this monster storm sure. go if they have any questions or or need any help? You know, other than you got to evacuate. Yeah. FloridaDisaster.org has got really good information, okay? If you have any problems, you can get on my website. It's uh, Rick Scott, uh, um, uh, 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 Rick Scott dot, you can go to ready.gov, but you can go to probably Florida Disaster is the best. You can get on ours, rickscott.senate.gov. Uh, they will direct you, but and we put a lot of information. But look, all the sheriffs, all the first responders, they're ready. I mean, they're getting ready. They, they're going to pre-position assets. Like Dukes is going to have unbelievable number of, of uh, line workers coming down. They had 18,000 line workers, uh, all of our utilities did two weeks ago. They'll have more this time, but it doesn't help you save your life. All right. None of, none of this is going to save your life. Um, what's going to save your life is the decision you make right now. And, and you just, I, I can't, I can't express it enough. You cannot wait much longer because the, the wind is going to start. It's going to, it's slow down a little bit. It could speed up, but the wind's going to start sometime late tonight, um, in the morning. So what's going to happen is you're going to start having down power lines. The storm surge is going to start, um, tonight. Right, so you're going to start having a lot of water coming, so we're going to have flooding. So you just can't wait that much longer, um, and then the tr- and then you don't know what the roads are going to be like. Uh, Senator Scott, appreciate it. We're we're getting the word out, and we have people like we said. We we have coverage in the whole state of Florida, and I'm a Floridian. Clay is a part time Floridian, so our thoughts and prayers are with everybody involved here, and uh, and we're getting the word out as much as we can, and we could not agree with you more. Thank you for bringing your expertise and for your work on this to just try to keep our fellow Floridians, fellow Americans safe. Thank you. All right. Take care. Thanks for what you guys are doing. Thank you. Look, several weeks ago when we introduced you to Rapid Radios, we didn't realize uh, how clear it would be to everybody that having these modern-day walkie-talkies on hand as part of your preparedness plan is just essential. Uh, my family was using uh, them in the aftermath of Helene, uh, and now I've got my family in New York having them because, you know, you never know when power is going to go out, there's going to be a hurricane, a major storm, something that's going to happen. And it's also just really convenient to have instant push-to-talk walkie-talkie set up for members of your family, for your business. Um, but with Hurricane Helene and now Milton, Rapid Radios are, are clearly a must-have product for so many of you in this audience 
They operate on a nationwide LTE network. Um, and in fact, Clay's wife, Laura in Tennessee was able to talk to my family instantly to my father-in-law in North Carolina, right after Helene because of their rapid radios. And my father-in-law, you heard him. He, he sent a message to everybody. He said it was a crucial lifeline for communication after the storm. Rapid radios are not your average walkie talkies. They're push to talk with one button, allowing you to easily talk to your family all at once, wherever they are. For a limited time, go to rapidradios.com. You'll get up to 60% off free UPS shipping from Michigan, plus a free protection bag. Add code radio when you make your purchase and get an extra 5% off. Again, my family has them and has used them, and we have disasters bearing down on Florida right now. Have this as part of your protection and preparation plan for your family. Rapidradios.com and use code radio for an extra 5% off.